Hello my lovely crochets and welcome to another tutorial and in this crochet tutorial we're going to do a really little quick and simple project. I'm going to show you how to make one of these teeny tiny little bows. Okay so we're going to be using some, some of this blue yarn and this is actually a yarn that is suitable for a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you want to choose a yarn. This is 100% cotton. You want to choose a yarn that goes well with a small hook size around about a sort of 2.5 or a 3 millimeter, something like that. So this is actually thinner than a DK light worsted, so fairly thin yarn. We're also going to be using a yarn needle, a tapestry needle. That's one with a big eye at the end so we can fit our yarn through. And you can need a pair of scissors as well. Okay, so. First thing we're going to do is okay. So the first thing to do is to take your yarn and your hook, and we are going to chain four to begin. We're going to chain four. So do our little slip knot, little slip knot, like so, and we're going to chain four. So one, two three and four okay so we're going to chain four then we're going to create a, a treble crochet stitch now this is in us terminology so when creating a treble crochet stitch what we need to do is to wrap the yarn around our hook twice and when it's down the bottom like that that's one wrap so wrap it around again when it's facing the bottom that's two wraps okay so you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook twice one and two, and just keep it fairly loose, not too loose it falls off, but tight enough so it stays on, but just so you can move it up and down. Then we're gonna put our hook into our first chain that we created, first chain, and bring the yarn through. And like I always say, a double crochet or bigger, any stitch that's a double crochet or bigger in US terminology, we basically yarn over and pull through the first two loops until we end up with just one loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over again, pull through the next two loops. These are with two loops, so we yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Okay, and that creates a treble. We're going to do three of these in that first chain. So there's our first one. Do it again, wrap the yarn around your hook twice. Go back into that same first chain again, bring the yarn through and just pull through two until you get to the end. So yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, don't forget to yarn over, pull through the next two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so our second treble. Do one more of those, the yarn around our hook twice, go back into that first chain again. Bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so there we've done three treble crochet stitches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, so one, two, three, chain three, and we're going to slip stitch in that same first chain. Let's put your hook back in that same first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain and then bring it straight through the loop on your hook as well. Let's do a little slip stitch. Okay, and there's the first half of our little bow. So we just do the same the other side. We chain four, one, two, three, and four chain four then but we're going to work into that same first chain again so we're going to yarn over twice to do our three trebles put your hook back into that same first chain again into there bring the yarn through pull through two pull through two pull through two to do your treble we need three of those so there's one do another one Yarn over twice, first chain again, pull through two, pull through two, 
pull through two. Let's do your second treble. Yarn over twice again. Go back into that same first chain again. Do another treble, your last treble. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so you got your three trebles. Then to finish up, we chain three. One, two, three. And then keeping that tail out of the way, put a hook into that center and do a slip stitch. So just make sure that yarn's in the middle when you put it through. Put it through the hole for that chain one and then straight through the loop on your hook. Okay, and there we go. There is our finished bow. But what we want to do is hide that little circle a bit. So I'm going to move our tail out of the way. And what we're going to do is keeping your hook your stitch nice and tight near the edge there just move it to the side and just hold it in place so it doesn't become loose and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap our yarn tail out of the way we're going to wrap our yarn we're working with around the center okay we're going to do that three times put it nice and tight okay so that's one and again two Oops, two, and let's tear that the way, and three. Okay, a bit fiddly, doing it on camera. Okay, so you wrapped it around the center three times, make sure they're all in the middle. And then what we're going to do is just take your yarn and do a little slip stitch to put it through that loop okay like so make sure that's nice and secure then what we're going to do is trim our yarn then just pull that through like so then we're just going to neaten off that final stitch so we get our yarn needle so yarn needle thread that on Then what we're going to do is we're going to just place it again through that center just underneath your little wraps of yarn through the center pull nice and tight okay then that's at the back we turn it over and then we're going to double we're just, just going to knot this going to knot this you can either double knot it if you want to or you can just do one knot okay pull it nice and tight and there is your finished bow, like so. There we go. Oops, get it in focus. <laughs> there is our little crocheted bow, perfect for adding to maybe my little amigurumi uh, rabbit tutorial. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to go check that out. They'll go perfect just over his little ear or her ear. And there we go, there's the other one. So you can obviously do it a neater job when wrapping it around. That's a bit fiddly on camera. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little quick tutorial and I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.